Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Scout Treasures. In today's video, we are going to go through this lot that I got from Shop Goodwill. There was no shopping list in here, or shipping note or whatever. So I'll have to go and enter in the, put it on the screen after the fact, as far as what I paid for this lot. Probably a lot. Lately, it's been a lot because a lot of them lately have been like in the hundred dollar range so i'm guessing that's probably what happened here i'm looking around nope <laughs> okay so let's just guess for now it was at least a hundred dollars i it was a number of pounds what does it say on here well it doesn't say on the box okay well we're just gonna go through it all right and we're gonna see what we find i'm looking at it for first impressions some pretty beads and stuff but uh, oh that's kind of cool Ooh, that's, little, that's pretty um okay so we're gonna go find out what we see all right first things first we've got these shells and these ones are a little different than what i'm used to seeing as far as shell brace uh, necklaces this one actually has a clasp on it too which makes me think it's a bit older it's a rusty clasp but it's there all the same I, I'm gonna have to look this up because these are not the same kind of shells that I'm used to seeing. So, or maybe one of you guys can let me know. Like that's a rusty, rusty clasp. Yeah, let me know what you think about this and what it is. I'll probably end up putting it in a lot unless it is something that's extraordinary. I get a lot of questions about my lots. I don't sell them on eBay or Etsy really. What I do is just throw everything that's craft or things that I'm not going to sell into a box and then I just pull from that box. And the prices tend to vary. Some, sometimes they go up a little bit because I've got nicer stuff. Sometimes it's, I'm just like, oh, I got too much, I gotta get rid of it. And so I drop the prices. So anyway, if you're interested, just email me at texasgaltreasures at gmail.com. Also, if you see anything you wanna buy, let me know. Okay, moving on. Uh, this is an earring. Look at that, it is so smooth, mother of pearl. And then this part appears to be wood, maybe. And it's a clip-on. There is a mark on the back, so let me get my loop. This is a fantastic earring. It says Monies, or Monies, M-O-N-I-E-S. So I'm gonna have to look that up. I hope I find the mate to this one. I'm gonna set it aside. Beautiful. Right, this bracelet I'm on the fence about. I, when I sell things that are cords or rope, I want it to look nice. And this, this part looks pretty good. This part is frayed on that end, but maybe that's not too bad. Uh, this says Tasha and then New York on the back. I think I'm gonna try to sell this. I think that's pretty nice. I think the colors are good. The gold with the brown looks really, really pretty. That's good. I mean, it doesn't necessarily work on my skin color, but I think somebody with a different skin tone would look really nice uh, with this piece. So that I'm going to sell. And then we've got this really long silver tone necklace. It's got these kind of swirls in there that I always forget what they're called. There is a name for it. And yeah, I... I like this one. I think I might actually try to sell this one. I mean, I don't think it'll be for a whole lot, but I think it will definitely sell. Cool. Ah, bonus hairs. <sighs> Let's take a peek here. I've got some things that are going to go to a lot. 
This is a an okay looking bracelet, but it's just kind of these just beaded. This is a cute I guess it's a bracelet. There's not a clasp on it. Maybe it's for a wine bottle. I'm not sure. It's got these cute little arrows. Maybe that's what that is. But I will put that in a lot too. Somebody will be able to use those arrows. Those are cute. And this little string bracelet, that will go to a lot. Random broken thing. And then this is a Disney necklace. It's got a Disney clasp on it, but the peeling, you know, it's coming off on Mickey's head. And then this, at first I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. But then some of the beads, the coating is coming off. So that's going to go to a lot. I'm trying to explain a little more why I'm putting things in lots. I get that question a lot. So that's why I'm doing it. All right. I have a couple here that I am going to put in a lot. This one, the clasp is broken. It's just not there. I think somebody could definitely use it. This one, uh, it's broken in one spot and it looks like yeah I don't know that I could how does that go so yeah there's a, a, a jump ring or something that's broken off it's not even a jump ring it's a piece that's totally broken off another option for this would be to take off the third rung and just sell the first two I mean it's cool the brand is Kate Spade, so I bet somebody would be able to fix this up and sell it, so I am gonna put this in a lot. It's a nice piece, just that one part is broken. Let's talk about these pearls. So these have a nice weight to them, they're knotted, but when you look at them, one, they're filthy, two, Let's go in a little closer. The clasp, like this area, is, is all like grungy gross. And you wanna look at the holes and see what the drill hole looks like, see if anything's peeling around there. Yeah, so these will go to a lot. <laughs> More bonus hair. Okie dokie, this is really pretty. These beads here, when you hold them up, they're translucent, they're purple. Then there are these really pretty pink and clear glass beads. Oh, I really like this. And then it's got this kind of Cuban style chain. And at first I thought the clasp was magnetic, but it's not. It's a barrel clasp. This is a really nice piece. I will definitely try to sell this one. I love it. I think it's so pretty. Yep. And next up we've got this twisted wood necklace. I. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to sell this one. There's some wood pieces that I gravitate more towards selling. I know there are people that like uh, buying wood pieces and you can, you know, say vegan jewelry, things like that, boho. There's lots of great keywords. So this is a nice one, lots of different colors in there. So I will definitely try to sell that one. Now let's take a peek at you. <laughs> Look how fun you are. This one is cool. It's got, let me zoom it out. We've got multiple layers here. We've got this, I don't know about the cording. Some of it looks kind of iffy, but this is kind of maroon or burgundy color. We've got shorter, middle, and then long with the sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. This is my sassy, sassy tassel song, woo! Oh, but we only have one sassy tassel, so. <laughs> then these little, Kind of like pennants. Oh, I'm on the fence about this one. I think I will try to sell this. Overall, the, the strap, the cord looks pretty good. And it's got a nice, I don't know, kind of goth vibe to it almost. Vict not Victorian, but like Renaissance type festival. I think somebody would really enjoy this one. Definitely a seller. a lot of solo earrings in this bunch and I want to go ahead and weed them out now because I always end up with like tons of earrings off to the side right off the bat this is one I'm gonna wait and see if I find the mate for this one I will wait and see if I don't this will just go to my sister because it's glass then this is gonna go straight to a lot because even if I find the mate it's missing stones it's miss you know some of the wear rubbing off and then I think this one is gonna be silver this one might actually be silver as well this one has a mark, we'll look at that. And then I wanna check out these three, grab my magnet. Magnetic, so that's gonna to go to a lot, lot, and a lot. 
All right, let's check you guys. You're in the hot seat now. Ooh, this one is not silver, probably. We'll look at it closer. That one I want to look at too. And then that one, okay. And then we'll look at that. Yeah, the silver plating is coming off that part there where it goes in and out of the, the hole. So you can see that the silver plating is wearing off. So this one I may actually wait and see if I find the Mate 4. It is marked Monet along here, which is a costume jewelry brand. Uh, and so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wait and see if I find the Mate for this Monet gold tone hoop. This earring is a brand called Celebrity, which I don't know in jewelry terms. I only know it in tomato terms. So Celebrity, you are gonna come to the side in case we find your mate. So I looked this one over. I cannot find a mark on it. I still think it's silver, so I'm gonna test it. I'll put it in my test pile. We'll see if I find the mate for this. So next is this magnificent, I believe it's just Lucite bangle. It's cut kind of on a curve, but it's really almost crudely cut. So it makes me wonder about it, but it's really cool. The colors are great. I will definitely try to sell this one. That's awesome. Mia, that took a while. So these are all pieces that I'm going to put in a lot just because even if I find the mates, I probably won't sell them. And yeah, these are all going to a lot. So this is pretty cool. I, I'm not 100% sure that this is plastic. It's carved. Maybe one of you guys will know. It feels almost like... Uh, it does feel like plastic, but it doesn't. I, I don't know if that makes any sense. So I'm going to see if y'all can tell me what this is. I feel like it's not, but there's something there's something to this one. I'll have to look into it a little deeper. Uh, there's a little ring here. This looks like just a little cheapy Howlite ring that, yeah, this will go to a lot as well. I feel like we had a horseshoe just a couple videos ago. So here's a little horseshoe. This one's in considerably worse wear than the last one. Let's check this. Uh, okay, so this is going to go to a lot as well. This bracelet is awesome. So it looks like we've got some different buttons and doodads. Somebody has created this. They've glued the pieces onto these blanks. And let's explore this glorious thing. It needs a good wipe down. It's kind of grimy. But let's, let's get in close up close and personal. Here we go. So first things first, we've got what looks like a button or something, some kind of, there was some mark on the back. Then this looks like perhaps a wing, stylized wing. This is just a piece of something silver that looks awesome. Kind of Art Nouveau looking. Then we've got this Buddha, these grapes. This is such a fun idea. Definitely one of a kind. These uh, kind of like primitive figures. Looks like maybe one thing missing. Oh, look at this owl. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. But how fun. You could just find something else to put right there and have a very unique one-of-a-kind bracelet. This is such a good idea. Whoever did this, great, great idea. Yeah, very cool. Okay, so I will probably sell this. I'll look and see if there's something in there maybe that fell off that I can glue back on. Oh gosh, there's so much bonus hair. It's like beyond bonus hair. And this is all stuck in there. It's grossing me out. Yeah, definitely we are beyond bonus hair here. I don't know if I want to take the bonus hair out and sell this or just put it in a lot. I guess it's worth taking all this grody out. <sighs> Ugh. 
It's like multicolor bonus hair too. Maybe it was a clown. Okay. It's cute. It's got a nice little silver hook. It just needs to be wiped down and cleaned up a bit, but I'll try to sell this one as well. Look at this. Gross. Okay, so this necklace is all broken, but these beads are glorious, aren't they? They're delightful, they're lovely, delicious. So these, uh, it's broken. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a lot because I know somebody will enjoy playing with all of these gorgeous colors, darling. Then we've got this necklace, which, oh, you can't see, has got this main stone here, which I think is really pretty, almost like a topaz, like a, uh, what you call it? What you call it? Brown topaz, but that's not the word for it. Oh my gosh. And my mom loves it, and I can't think of what it's called. <laughs> oh well. So this one I will definitely sell. I know it's not a topaz, most likely, but it is still really pretty. It's got all these pretty dangly bits, and yeah, it's really nice. So so yeah, I definitely see someone liking this, and it's really bothering me that I can't think of what the brown topaz is called. Called Smoky Topaz. Oh my gosh, so hard, Margaret. How could you forget? Anyway, I think somebody will really like this. It's really feminine and delicate and pretty, and I will try to sell this one. This one had a lot of stuff wound around it, but I will sell this. It's so unique and different. Definitely kind of a modern, abstract, brutalist, arty style that, that somebody's gonna really, really love this. Same thing with this really beautiful piece. Hang on, it's twisted up. So it's got this, I mean, this looks like probably somebody handmade this. Really pretty kind of bib style and then a magnetic closure in the back. It's gorgeous, I, look at this. This is the dirtiest lot I've had in a long time with the hair and the bits and the grossness, but some really pretty stuff. Yeah, so I will definitely sell this. It's beautiful. I am looking for this mate. We will find you. I'm gonna go wash these hands. So I found this earring and I wonder if it is the mate for that or if there's another pair. EB, that's what we used to call my sister. That's her first and middle initial. Haha, <laughs> well we'll find out if we find mates for that, or if they're supposed to be mixed. This one will go to a lot. I, I'm gonna hold on to this rubbery necklace because I feel like I have a pendant that I could put on this one. And then we've got this really long silver tone necklace. It's got these kind of swirls in there that I always forget what they're called. There is a name for it. And yeah, I I like this one. I think I might actually try to sell this one. I mean, I don't think it'll be for a whole lot, but I think it will definitely sell. Cool. Let's decide here. Tell me you, which one you think I'm gonna save and which one is getting eliminated. All right, I'm saving one of these three options. Will it be the koala? Will it be the arrows or will it be the miscellaneous etc. chain? Of all of these, I'm going to save the koala. I think it's so cute. I, again, I don't think that's going to sell for a lot, but this one has got so much wear on it and this one, I'm just not, I'm not going to sell. So those are going to a lot. This one I'm going to try to sell. I think it's so cute. Hey everybody, I'm ending this one a little bit differently. This is a bit of the detangling from the next section from this video coming up tomorrow. I It was way too long for me to include it all in one video, I realized as I started editing. So stay tuned for the rest of this. I do find some amazing pieces and I can't wait to share them with you. Thanks so much for hanging out. Go down there, let me know how you're doing. Leave me a thumbs up and just check in. See, I just wanna make sure everybody's doing okay out there and, and keeping their chins up. And I will talk to you on the next one. As you can see, a little bit of this stuff coming soon.